we're starting standing. So you can take your feet hip distance apart and stretch the whole spine. Just relax your arms, feel your feet on the ground. You can close your eyes for a moment and notice, really notice where is your weight. Is it more on one foot? Is it on both feet but more on the back, on your heels? Is it more on the front? Do you feel like Maybe your weight is diagonally distributed. Just notice whatever feeling you have. Take a moment to feel your feet. Feel each toe touching the ground. Your heels, the outside of your foot, your big bow and small bow of your foot. Feel the arch underneath your feet the space between the floor and your feet and gently start pulling the arch of your feet up exhale and pull the feet up and inhale to release exhale you pull like the highest part of your feet up and release hello <laughs> Just be very aware of your feet and imagine your toes are gripping the floor but you're still touching the floor with your heels and with the big ball and small ball of the foot and you just make the arch underneath your foot even bigger. And with every exhale you pull this arch even higher and imagine as well a zipper from your pubic bone up to the belly button to the ribs and everything pulling up to the ceiling and inhale release. We do it two more times. Exhale, arch your feet, pull everything up. Exhale all the air out and inhale to release. Last one, exhale, pull the arches of your feet up, pull your zipper up. You have like a vacuum inside your belly going up and a little bit towards the spine. Everything is long and inhale release we start lifting one heel up and going on the toes and you push slightly forward so you lift one heel and push a little bit forward to stretch the front of the foot and release and then the other foot push and release. You can keep the arms relaxed or you can take them on your pelvis. <coughs> Excuse me. You can open your eyes here if you have them closed and look at your alignment of your legs. See what's going on in your heels. If your heels turn to the side inwards, try to lift the heel and go straight forward, the knees aligned with the second toe. Both feet are in one line. And we do this a few more times. If you already, your ankles waking up. And now let's lift one foot, place it on the big toe, and we bend the opposite way. So we go forward on the front of the foot to stretch the front of the foot and release. And then the other one. We just go forward and bend. It doesn't matter how much, it's already a movement in your foot joint, in your feet. So in every foot we have 33 joints, 33. So if you can think about it, elbow is just one joint. Your hip is one joint, your knee, one joint. 
And they are 33 in the feet and they are there for a reason. To keep our move supple and to absorb the... Sorry, I'm not remembering the word. When you walk, like all the tension that comes, all the weight goes on the feet and it doesn't distribute on top of the body. Okay, now we do a circle. So you can lift your heel again and just circle your heel around in one direction and in the other. Two circles. Imagine your sitting bones sink down. You have weights on your sitting bones and we switch the foot, we circle in the other direction, as the other foot in one direction and in the other direction. And just to improve a little bit more the awareness of the feet, let's look at the toes and try to lift only the big toes and lower them down. Again, only the big toes and lower them down. Two more times. All other eight toes push on the ground. And then push with the big toe down and lift all other eight toes up and down. Again, up and down. Big toe firmly pushing on the ground. Good. Two more times. And I'll try to move each toe one at a time. So you lift first the big toe, then second, third, fourth, fifth, and go same way back. The tiniest toe and all the others follow. The big toe is the last. Again, lift the big toe and all the others follow. And lower them one at a time down. Don't worry if it's not working exactly. It helps a lot when you look. So let's try the other direction. Lifting first the small toe. Oh, this is hard. And then the others follow. Big toe down. Second, third, fourth, fifth. Try and don't be hard on yourself. As well, notice any movements in your knees. Hello, Birgit. And just one more time, we're working with the toes, trying to not move anything else in the body. And then lift all the toes up and at the same time, arch your feet. Again, think of your, the arches of your feet lifting. And release everything. Again, lift the toes and lift the arches of your feet. Think of the zipper. Now you can look up or straight forward and release. One more time. Lift all the toes, arch your feet. So you should feel the whole leg activating your calf muscles and maybe even up the leg and release. Last one, arch your feet, lift the toes. Maybe feel your pelvic floor lifting at the same time and release. Now shake your feet and let's see how is the balance today. We have activated all the muscles in the feet so it should be easy. Feet hip distance apart and we just lift both heels up, straight up and both heels down. Again both heels up and down. And up and down. Be aware that you go straight up and there is no rotation in your feet, in your knees, everything is well aligned and you go straight up. And one more time. Let's lift one foot off the ground and we lift again up and down and lift up <laughs> and down. Don't worry if you lose the balance. We try to look at one point in your room that's not moving. It 
it's helping the stability and if you want challenge if you has no problem with balancing on one foot of course you can close your eyes it's gonna be much more difficult one more time this side and lower down and let's do the other side just lift the other foot up and we prepare and we lift and down don't worry everything is normal we are adjusting especially the first so for repetitions are maybe super shaky, but then the body is going to quickly find a way which muscles to fire up so you can perform the movement needed. And maybe you notice that the second side is a little bit harder than the first one. So let's do a few more repetitions here. If the first one was harder, then switch to the first one again. So try to balance left and right. So usually one side is stronger. And if this is your weakest, weaker side, we do a few more. Whew. Maybe the whole leg is burning already. Okay, two more. Don't give up. And last one. Lift. Shake both legs. We take the feet again, hip distance apart. And at the same time, we lift the heels up and the shoulders up. Inhale, lower the heels down, shoulders down. Exhale. Inhale, heels up, shoulders up. Exhale, shoulders down, heels down. Just one more time. Lift everything. And now we do circles with the shoulders, but we're going to add a movement of the knees. So you're going to bend your knees as you lower the shoulders and bring them forward. So just connect. Think of organic movement of your body, like knees and shoulders moving at the same time. And we can add a little bit bigger movement of the arms. You can do circles. And try to still move your shoulders. Just move, don't think too much of right or wrong. Connect the breath with the movement of your knees and your shoulders. And just see that your knees go straight forward. They don't open, then they don't collapse towards each other. And one last time. And we circle the shoulders in the other direction just two, three times. And take the hands on the pelvis. See that you're neutral, that you're not overly arching or too much hanging. So you're in your neutral spine position. We lift again one leg, it doesn't matter which one. So here again, check both pelvic bones are in one direction, are in one level, sorry. And we take the hands underneath the knee, open the shoulders, inhale. As you exhale, stretch slowly the leg out, maybe not fully. Inhale, bend. Exhale, be aware, belly button to spine as you stretch the leg out. Inhale to bend. Exhale, stretch. Inhale to bend. One more time. Push with the big ball of your standing foot down. One last stretch. Try to hold it. Pull the belly in. Bend slightly the standing leg. And then we release the arms. And we breathe two times. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, lower them down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. I'm lying. We'll do the third one. Inhale, lift. Keep lifting the leg. Exhale, lower. And try to lift the leg higher, higher, higher. And bend the knee and release. Whew. Shake that leg. <clears throat> we'll lift the other leg. Align your pelvis. See that it's not 
the side of your lifted leg is not too high or too low. Usually we try to lift it too high. And then we take the hands underneath the knee. Try to open the shoulders, ribs in. You have your weight equally. Distribute it so you're not too far back, not too far forward. And ready? Exhale. Stretch the leg out and bend. Try to stay as straight and long in your spine as possible. And if you need, bend just halfway your leg. Good. One more time. And keep the leg straight. Pull the belly in, bend slightly the standing leg. And we release the arms. And we breathe. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower, and on our third breath, stay aligned in your pelvis, inhale to lift, keep lifting that leg higher, lift it as high as you can, lift, 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 and bend and release, good, yay, yeah. <laughs> shake the legs, we take the feet in the V position with the heels together, and Push a little bit with your pelvis forward. Inhale to grow tall. Exhale, take your arms up and dive forward just halfway. So we try to really round the thoracic spine here, keeping the lower back long. So push the pelvis forward and inhale, lift and lower the arms. Exhale, arms up. And we dive, inhale, open. So what happens here, when we dive, the body wants to push the pelvis back to balance. We try to push it forward and then dive. It's gonna be much harder. So more weight on the front of the feet. Inhale to open. Keep squeezing the inner thighs. Again, exhale to round, inhale to open, exhale to round. So try to really stay with the pelvis over the feet, not back. And up, last one, exhale, round, good. Open and we take the arms to the sides and we bend the knees to both sides of the room so they go straight over your feet again pelvis down so we're not leaning forward or backward and here we go with pulses down 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 try to push the pelvis forward and open the knees even more and we keep the heels down and we move the arms in circles to add some coordination here keep going down, down, down open the knees more think of your weights on your sitting bones Whew, it's getting hot and four, three, two one, hold it, hold it, hold it, and stretch, lift your arms, lift your heels, stretch everything, and release, okay, shake your legs a little bit, and, sorry, it's too warm, and then we go on our mats, so you can just go ahead and Sit down, long side on your mat. First, keep your legs bent. Take your arms parallel to the floor. Inhale to grow tall. As you exhale, start tilting your pelvis and rolling until you touch 
the shoulder blades on the ground, hold it here, inhale, exhale, push down with the heels and roll all the way up and stretch your arms with twist, open the arms to one direction, inhale, lift the arms up, center, exhale to the other direction, inhale, up, if you want challenge, you keep the arms by the ears, or you lower them down as you roll the spine again halfway down. Feel the lower back, feel your ribs and the tips of the shoulder blades into your chest lift position. Exhale. Belly button in, heels push down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, twist. Inhale, arms up. Exhale to the other direction. Good. Inhale, arms up. Choose the position of your arms. Maybe you want to try with the arms by the ears. It's definitely more challenging for the core. Inhale and exhale to roll up and stretch. And again, twist up. Then for the inhalation, exhale to the other side. When you twist, I saw all of you, you are a little bit rounded. Try to really straighten the spine and twist. Yes, good. And think of a little bit of double chin, if I need one. Good, always stretching. Very good, try to not move the legs, keep them still. Yvonne, here in this position, you can try to go a little bit more forward. So maybe you want to open the legs more so that they're not super bent. So you can really sit forward. So you're not here, but you're on top of the sitting bones. Yes, that's it, good. Always be aware of your shoulders. Very good correction of the spine, Eva. Shoulders down, Yvonne. Okay, just one more time. We roll halfway down. Four to inhale. Exhale to roll up. Twist, center, twist, center, and release. We open the legs wide, as wide as you can, so you can turn around maybe, and really go to the maximum that you have right now, and lift your pelvis a little bit and sit really on top of your sitting bones. And here, we start moving only the feet. So one foot is point, one foot is flex, and switch. If you want to, you can use the hands and push yourself a little bit up. So you have a nice long spine. But try to not lean much back, but stay as forward over your pelvis as you can. Again, shoulders are open. One more time to each side. And then relax the legs. We bring them closer together, shake them. Try to stay up straight tall here if you need to bend slightly the knees. The legs are not important right now. And we stretch the arms and we do a similar move here. It's called the nerve slide. So one hand is like pushing against the wall and the other hand is with the fingers down. And we really stretch the arms here. We already feel the tension and we switch the hands. And switch. And switch. Try to find the nice alignment of your shoulders, that they are down. 
chin a little bit to the chest, stretching all the time the spine. You can go on your own tempo. Really feel what's going on here. Good. One more time. And now both hands pushing against two imaginary walls. Ooh, there's a lot of tension here. Slowly send your shoulders down and lift the arms. Keep flexing the hands and lower all the way down. Change the hands, show down and now we lower the arms. And lift and again both hands, both the fingers show up and we lift up, be very aware of your shoulders, shoulders not lifting, shoulders down, belly in, open, completely stretch the arms, again fingers down, lower and stretch your fingers out to both sides of the room, return the palms facing up, shoulders down and bring your elbows close to your body. At the same time, try to keep your hands in the same lines. Ooh, you should feel really the shoulders here if you're doing it correctly. And stretch again. Inhale. Exhale again. Bringing the elbows close to you and the hands, they're in the same line. So we try to not keep them in front of the body, to the side. And again, stretch. And bend. You can imagine you're holding two plates. With, I don't know, some pastry or <laughs> something more healthy, avocado or cherries, so they could roll out of the plates. So we try to keep them on the plates so we're perfectly parallel to the floor. One more time, stretch and bend. And we bring the arms forward, so the forearms forward, shoulders down. We stretch here the arms in front of us and think of your shoulders again going down as you lift your arms as high as you can without moving the ribs, without moving the shoulders up. Lower and bend. Again, stretch. So you're giving the plates to somebody. Now lift. Okay, there is nothing anymore in the plates. Lower, bend, we combine, we open to the side, as far as you can with the thumbs, stretch the arms here, bend, Whew. forward, stretch, and lift, lower, bend, Open. Here you should really feel it. As far back, as far back with the thumbs. And to the side. Two more. This move is already hard without any weight or any resistance. But it's taken from the repertoire of the reformer. So usually you have strings that you're holding and you're moving your whole body weight. You can imagine it's a little bit harder than what we're doing, but it's the same effect. We activate the same muscles. So if you have the chance to go to a reformer training, I think you would really love it. And stretch. And lift. And release. Okay, we open the legs again. As wide as we can. And take the hands behind the head, interlace your fingers. You can still see your elbows from the peripheral vision. Push a little bit the head into your hands. Find that connection. And now we just bend over to the side and lift. Inhale. Exhale to the other side. And lift. Try to adjust your body. Maybe you notice that when you lean over to the side, you are as well leaning forward. Try to go straight to the side. 
up, inhale, exhale to the other side. And up. The face is relaxed, we still push with the head into the hands. Side. Now we twist. Stay in your center axis and twist. Come back to center and twist to the other direction. Try to keep lifting the whole body. Somebody is pulling your head up to the sky. Inhale in the center, exhale to twist. Now we twist, stay in the twisted 